Using all I've learned, I'm cooking a dish that does justice to my culinary adventures. Modern nobody is going to help you, right? I'm really on my own. And to make matters worse, Seema's bringing some influential food critics. Seen some absolutely fantastic stuff all week, from the desert to the jungle to even on the train. So, time to put that into practice. And basically, as it is in Ramsey's world, the knives are out. First thing I'm going to do, get my chickens off the bone, take off the legs, take off the breasts, get them into a marinade. At the same time, get a chicken stock going. The dish I'm staking my reputation on is slow-cooked chicken with cinnamon, cardamom and cloves. I'm going to do a really nice sort of brown, fragrant stock. Aromatic, not like any normal chicken stock you'd find in the UK. In with that. Cinnamon. This delicate chicken stock will be the base of my sauce. So... No fucking water. How'd you get that? No wonder there's no fucking water. Look, it's pissing out down the bottom. Jesus, that's not normal, that. If there's one thing I'm learning the hard way, it's don't cook an important dish like this in a poorly equipped kitchen when no one speaks English. Clean film? Clean film, no? Do you have any clean film? No, no, OK, don't worry. A sieve. No, not like this, but like a... You know, you know. Now I've burnt my fucking onions. Star anise. Anise eat star. Uh, star. Star, 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 star. In the sky. S star. Anise, fennel. Star. St no, don't fucking wave at me. Fuck me. Star anise. Anise. No? Anise. If I succeed tonight, it'll be a miracle at this rate. Fuck me. I'm in the shit now. Yeah. Everyone stands and stares and fucking laughs. I'm in the shit now. I'm going to marinate the chicken now in the green papaya. This marinade is adapted from the one I used for the goat biryani at the wedding. Chili. A touch of clove powder. Cumin. A little bit of turmeric. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of sugar. Get that mixed in. You know, I'm, I'm on the fly. You know, it's a collection of what we've seen, where we've been all week, and more importantly, you know, if it doesn't work, I'm going to look fucking stupid. So it has to work. All right, chicken. The breasts in. Sorry, guys. I found a pumpkin to make a puree. There's no conventional oven to bake it in here, so time to use the one golden rule of Indian cookery. Think on your feet. Improvise, like we did in the jungle. I want to borrow your tandoori oven. Yeah. Thank you. Fuck. Shit. That's hot. Yep. Perfect. Right. It's about an hour to go. I'm just starting the sauce now, yeah, for the chicken. It's based on that stock from the chicken. Sweaty down the onions, the garlic, the fresh tomatoes here. Then we add the stock into that, blend it, and then finish it with a touch of cream. Seema's decided to check up on me. She's invited a lot of influential Indian foodies tonight. Hello. How Hello, are my darling. You today? Yeah, bro. Jesus. How's it going? It's been, yeah, it's been amazing. But tonight's the big night, right? Tonight is definitely the big Do you need any night. help? I've got an apron in the car. No, oh, Jesus Christ. But can I take a sneak peek at what you're doing? Sneak peek. Yeah, at, um, yeah. Pumpkin puree, okay. which was roasted in the tandoor oven with a little bit of cumin. OK. So that was uh, Not bad. almost, a little bit of a almost a pain in the ass. There's no ovens here. Possibilities. Possibilities. Oh, Jesus and Christ. And let me see there. Yeah. Let me go around and take a look. There we are, my darling. Thank you. Happy? That's promising. Promising. It's not I'm finished happy. yet. 
I'll see you. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Bye. Thanks, darling. Just remember, today's your day. Today's my day. Fuck me. I've lost time cooking in this basic kitchen, and Seema's food critic guests have already arrived. So service has just started. Customers are walking in. All I'm going to do now, these chicken breasts, is just sear them off. That's the menu for tonight, folks. No, this one, the new dish. Oh, yeah, yeah, no more mushroom. So we've got four slow-cooked chicken. If we don't like this slow-cooked chicken, can we give it back? See you later. See you later. OK, first one. From the jungle to the desert and a huge, exquisite wedding banquet, my North Indian expedition has all come down to this. My slow-cooked chicken is ready to go out. I'm finishing the dish with saffron-flavoured egg, like those I use in the goat biryani. Go, please. Go. Let's go. Go, then. Let's go. How's it? Outstanding. Mm. Okay, so he's given his word. He's outstanding. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I really like it. It's, it's, it's different. It's, uh, it's, it's obviously really different to all the dishes they've had here till now. I love the succulentness of the chicken. You know, it's not stringy, it's not... And, it's, and it isn't a very heavy, heavy kind of gravy. It's a wonderful mix huh? using Indian spices, but not overdoing it. It's been made by someone who is approaching Indian food or the food of Moti Mahal or whatever with a clean slate. Gordon, Darling? I've got to tell you, you've yeah. done brilliantly. Everybody's enjoyed it and really liked it. Oh, really? Not only what it deceptively initially yeah. looked like butter chicken. But everybody took a bite yeah. and said, wow, no. this is so light, this is so lovely. And I loved your yes. chicken. I wiped the plate clean. Oh, really? Yeah. So I want you to now come out. OK. Let's just unveil you to the public. To the public, yeah. Jesus. Delhi's finest. Come on, come on, come on. To the Delhi's, to Delhi's, Delhi's finest. finest. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Right? So, hello. Good evening. Come, come, Ladies, come, come, how are come. we? Hi. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Come, Gordon. I want you to meet everybody. Right. That's Gordon. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome. How was the chicken? Very outstanding. Good. This has a, has a very distinct, light, happy flavour. Uh -huh. Before you ask me any questions, right. just the plate. Uh -huh. Is there anything left? Uh, a, bone, a bone, which is a good sign. It was delicious. Did you enjoy it? Fabulous. Yes. In fact, I think they should stick it on the menu. I'd order it again, yeah. If I came here again, I'd definitely order it again. Well, well, thank I tell you something? You passed. I passed. You passed. That's an honour. Thank, thank you so much. It's been an incredible week, but for me, what I have discovered here is that the Indian food is far superior than what we're used to seeing at home. So now I've got the taste of it, I want to go off the beaten track and maybe into the unknown.